Good morning, everyone. Um, I hope that you are all well. It is Tuesday, where I am. Um, may not be Tuesday where you are. Anyway, so today's today's lesson. No, not lesson. I'm not teaching you really. I'm just helping you um, with your practice. So today's practice is called box breathing. Now, box breathing is pretty similar to what I have taught you already with the breaths in, the holds, um, breathing out, and then holding again. Okay, so it is very, very similar, except this time you're not breathing out for any longer than you're breathing in. Okay, so if your lung capacity isn't able to do um, four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds out, four seconds hold, change it to three. Again, this is all to whatever suits you. Okay, so I want you to get into a really comfortable thing on an old school bench. Um, well, I'm sitting up. Now, I want you to get yourself into a similar comfortable position. Okay. I want you to shut your eyes or keep them slightly open, open a jar, whatever. And I want you to visualize your body being nice and I don't know if the word postural is a word, but with nice posture yet relaxed, okay? So you're allowing your body to have some kind of um, uh, muscular rigidity, but you're relaxing within yourself, okay? So you're sitting up, but you're letting yourself just really, really relax wherever you are, okay? Now, this is the important part. What you're gonna do is allow anything to come into your mind. It doesn't, maybe watching. Um, now, let anything come into your mind. This is the important part of practice, okay? Now I want you to put all those things that we've, we've talked through over the past five days into practice this morning, okay? So whether it be acceptance of the thought, whether it be just fully accepting that you're present and you're aware right now, okay? Whether it is just being in yourself, okay? Feeling what it feels like to be completely conscious, completely aware, completely here, and completely not distracted by whatever feelings or emotions that your past or future self may give rise to, okay? Allowing that to just be there. Now, keeping your eyes shut, I want us to start breathing. Okay, breathe normally. Be aware of what your breath is like. I want you to answer these few questions. In your head, of course, okay. Where's your tongue? Is it on the roof of your mouth? Is it sitting nicely on the lower part of your mouth? Where is it? Just relax your tongue, okay? Relax that bad boy into the bottom of your mouth. Now, on the topic of tongue, is your mouth dry? If your mouth is dry, go get a drink of water before we fully start. But it also means you are anxious. You are overthinking. You're worried. You're stressed. You're sad, depressed. I mean, a range of things, but you're not at ease, okay? Where's your breath, okay? Obviously, your breath's in, in and out of your mouth, but are you breathing into your chest here? Like, see how my tummy moves? Or are you going, and shallow breathing, okay? Shallow breathing reduces the amount of oxygen that your blood can travel through your body. I mean, the amount of oxygen that gets into your blood, which then travels around your body, which actually causes anxiety, okay? Um, it also creates negative thoughts within your brain. I know that sounds really crazy pseudoscience, but that's the truth, okay? Shallow breathing is not good for your body, okay? So when you're breathing, when we're doing this box breath work, I really want you to have your hand on your tum, okay? You're putting it on your tum and you're making sure that you're breathing. is pushing your hand away from your tummy. And then... When you breathe out, your hand comes in. 
okay? If it's not moving, you're shallow breathing, okay? Now, we're gonna start, okay? So I want you to get yourself in this comfortable position. And you're gonna start by breathing in for three seconds, holding for three, breathing out for three. Holding for three. Breathing in for three. For three. Breathing out for three. And holding for three. I want you to keep going with your own pattern. If three is too difficult, I want you to drop it down to two. If three is too easy, I want you to bring it up to four. While you're doing this, allow the thoughts to flow in. Accept them, greet them. Every time your mind drifts away from your breath, bring it back. Restart your counting. Restart your breath work. Notice the things around you, but don't let it distract you. Welcome in the sounds. For me, it's birds. For me, it's the ocean. For me, it's some cars even. It can even be the sound of quietness. Sounds of silence. Remembering to bring your breath back constantly into the forefront of your mind. Don't let yourself get distracted too easily, but if you do, it's okay. Remember awareness isn't concentration. Awareness is simply noticing and accepting and moving forward. Concentration is focus. Concentration is demanding attention. We're not trying to demand attention from you with these sounds, these feelings. We're simply trying to letting them flow in, letting them flow out. If you've drifted again, bring your mind and your consciousness back into your present body and to your breath. If you need a restart, restart. If you need something to really ground you to your breath and to remember and to concentrate, notice the sensation of the breath as you breathe in. Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it sharp? Is it soft? And then notice the feeling of when you breathe out. Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it heavy? Is it, is it light? And when you're holding your breath, does it feel like pain, struggle, ease, fun, niceness? Whatever it may be, it does not matter. It's your own unique feeling. We're gonna just sit here for two more minutes really focusing on the breath, focusing on awareness, and most of all, focusing on presence. Presence that you're sitting here right now in this huge world, practicing something so simple, so effective, And you've all got your part to play. Keeping the breath nice and steady. Remembering its name, box breathing. Visualize a box. 
is you go in, you hold, you go out, you hold. Draw the box in your brain, visualize the box. Do whatever it feels necessary to do to make this practice easy. No one person has the right answer. My practice is different from yours. Your practice is different from someone else's. Allow that notion to ring throughout because that's all it is. Individualism at its finest. One more minute now. Really focusing on the breath now. Now in this final minute, I want you to start to allow intentions for your day to flow in. Whether your intention is something so minuscule and simple, that does not matter. As long as you're present during that intention, then that is the most. Start allowing them to manifest within your and I want you to harness this emotion, harness this feeling, okay? Harness the strength that you feel right now. Harness the stability. Harness the ambiguity, the foreignness of this feeling of this peace and prosperity. And slowly begin to move yourself. Connect your mind that you've just been so present with to your body. Move your fingers, move your toes. Make a fist. Move your tongue around your mouth as such. Blink, scrunch your face up. Move your jaw, arms, flex your muscles. <clears throat> Get everything woken up. And now taking those intentions, taking this feeling of presence into your day, you're gonna be the best that you can be. If you fail today, that's okay. At least you tried. If today brings you difficulty, sadness, that's okay too. Be with that difficulty, be with that sadness. If you need to take a nap today, take the nap. Be present with your nap. Know why you're taking the nap. Hey, if you don't want to take a nap and you want to run 100 kilometers, don't run 100 kilometers because social distancing, but do 150 push-ups. <laughs> Jog on the spot for 20 minutes. I don't care, but keep your social distance unless necessary. Today, that is all. I really thank you for joining me. And I hope that I see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow, so I want to hopefully get a few more, a few more new eyes, okay? Like I said, though, one person is all that matters to me. Um, if I can influence one person's life today in a positive way, then that has made my day. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the best for today. I'm sending lots of love to you, your family, your friends, anyone that you know. Um, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.